I am Leslie Beck, a Wash Park East neighbor and a board member of the Wash Park East Neighborhood Association. And today I'm here with another board member, Bill Tracy, longtime Wash Park East resident and our beloved treasurer of the Wash Park East Neighborhood Association. Hi, Bill. Hi, Leslie. Nice to see you today. Nice day to be here. <laughs> well, we are having our elections coming up in October and it is with sadness, but also excitement that we are uh, going to be losing Bill. He has decided to hang up his calculator as treasurer. And so we will be looking for a new treasurer to join the board. So I thought we would chat with him today and ask some questions about what uh, all is entailed in uh, being treasurer for the Neighborhood Association. So thank you for your time. Sure. So can you share a little bit about your role as the treasurer of Lapina? and what your responsibilities have been? Well, basically I keep the books. And uh, when you look at what all that entails, you know, write checks and visa payments. Okay. Um, we uh, check the post office box weekly for receipts because we have a post office box where members can send checks. Monitor PayPal for digital payments. Uh, we have a PayPal account and uh, make bank deposits mostly with the app. Okay. I don't have to go to the bank much, very often. Uh, I post all those transactions in Quicken. Okay. That's and nice. I use Quicken, but that's not necessary. Just the one that I use and I know I'm familiar with. Um, I, I download and reconcile the bank statements. And once I've done that, I make our financial reports to the board. They're monthly financial reports at our board meeting. And those, um, so the different types of payments that we get are either memberships or when we have events and things like that. Sponsorships, okay. and we have um, individual ad. members, business members, and business advertisers. Okay. Um, not a lot, we have about about 400 people right now uh, that, that I have on the books okay. that have made payments. We need more than that because we have about 3,400 residents in our neighborhood, so hopefully we get more. So I do the monthly financial statements, miscellaneous reporting, uh, lists of all those people that have given us money so we can write thank you notes and reminders from time to time uh, to renew their support. Um, I do federal and Colorado annual reports uh, and I attend the board meeting every month. And you do a great job providing and, all and that. And that's about it. Uh, the only thing I need to add on to that is the 4th of July event, mm. which is our biggest and most fun event to do. So that is technically not part of my treasurer's position, but an additional volunteer job that I they take on. And that is a lot to manage with all of our sponsorships from there and the payments. But so it's a lot of fun. It is fun. It is good. What? So as we're looking for a new treasurer, what skills do you think that person should have? Well, my background is I have an, a, an MBA in finance. Okay. Oh, good. That's one. completely overkill. <laughs> uh, I think about the basics is if you can balance your checkbook, you can probably be treasurer. Okay. Okay. Um, I use Quicken and I use Excel spreadsheets. Okay. Uh, Excel is sort of the, if you're in any kind of the financial side, Excel is very helpful to be able to, to, to use. Uh, and Quicken is not necessary. There are lots of different financial packages out there that do this job. Okay. Um, if you have basic business experience in nonprofits, I think that's very helpful in understanding what Wapina, Wash Park East Nets, Wash Park East Neighborhood Associated is. Right. We call it Wapina. Wapina. Uh, you have to enjoy working with nice people. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you have to have a little time to spare and a little flexibility in your time. And how many hours would you say you dedicate, like on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, or does it fluctuate? It fluctuates. Okay. Um, our, our big time for uh, people renewing their support uh, is around the beginning of the year. Uh, we used to have, you know, financial membership, which we don't have anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but around the first of the year, I'd probably spend maybe six, five, six hours in a week. Okay. That's absolute top max. That's not bad at all. Including trips to the post office, trips to the bank for check deposits and all that kind of stuff. Most of the time where I'm twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Unless we have one of our big fundraisers or things like that going on. That's so right. To wrap that up, it looks like 
five or six hours a week, kind of in the beginning of the year. Right. Some type of finance background would be very helpful. Background with nonprofits would be an extra bonus. That's right. And enjoying working with other wonderful board members. I mean, when I retired, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to take the job on. Because when you retire, you lose a lot of the social context of your mm -hmm. job. And you need something to replace that with. And that, that was what it did for me. Okay, I love that. So for someone who'd be interested in running for treasurer, what advice would you give them? Uh, come to a few board meetings. Uh, I was uh, living in Wash Park East Neighborhood Association since 1978. Oh my gosh. Uh, which was before the organization started. I think they started about 1980 something. Okay. And uh, I started just hanging around for board meetings and getting to know the people. And uh, after a while, I thought, well, these are a bunch of people that I'd like to work with. Oh. Okay. Um, and then it came up that they needed a treasurer, and I was there. And I've been a treasurer of another nonprofit, so I sort of knew what I was getting into. Oh, okay. And how long have you been our treasurer? 2016. Okay. And there, you know, some organizations require the treasurer to turn over every two years. Yeah. We don't have any such limitation, uh, which is good and bad, mm -hmm. because it let me have more fun in my job. But I think at one point, I have to say, um, it, it's time for a change. Yes, we understand that. We are dismayed that that's happening, but we are excited that there will be another person to come and join our board. If you have any questions about being treasurer or just the board in general, please feel free to reach out to us. We would love to chat with you more. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. Nice to be here.